Welcome to Cassiano Easy Math. So this video is about solving the value of x. The square root of 50 divided by the square root of 2 plus the square root of 2 multiplied by 2. So before we start solving the problem, I would like to say please subscribe, like and share this video and feel free to leave a comment for any questions. Okay, so, so let's start solving. The rule in radical, simplifying radicals, is that the denominator should not contain, or it cannot contain any radicals. So all we have to do is get rid of these radicals in the denominator of the fraction. And simplify. All right, so let's start. So first, 50, we need to break down the square root of 50. And it, square root of 50 can be written as 25 times 2. The square root of that, 25 over 2. And the denominator, square root of 2, plus 2 times the square root of 2. To get rid of this radical denominator, all we have to do is multiply with its conjugate. And that conjugate is the same terms, but, the, but with the sign the opposite of positive will be negative. So the conjugate is the square root of 2 minus 2 square root of 2. So that's the conjugate. So whenever you do, you add something or you subtract something on the denominator, you have to do that also in the numerator. So that is multiplied the same way with the conjugate. Square root of 2 minus 2, square root of 2. Okay. So the, that is the main difference right there. Okay. Alright, so let's start simplifying. And 25 times 2, the square root of that, 25 is a perfect square. So we can move that 25. Read out 25 is, square root of 25 is 5. And we have left square root of 2. Multiply to this right here since it's on a parenthesis. So we have to distribute that oh, right there. Okay, so. But for now, we just write it down again. So it's square root of 2 minus 2 square root of 2 divided by square root of 2 plus. 2 square root of 2, multiply that, just write it down for now. Okay, now we have to start multiplying. 5 square root of 2 times the first term, square root of 2, minus 5 square root of 2, multiplied by the second term, times 2 square root of 2 divided by multiplying the first term to the first term it's like we're doing the foil okay so first term times first term that is square root of 2 times square root of 2 plus first term times the second term square root of 2 times negative 2 square root of 2 and then the second term multiply the first term so that is plus 2 times square root of 2 times square root of 2 minus since that is minus so we have this this uh, <coughs> 2 square root of 2 times 2 square root of 2. Simplifying it further, so x is equal to 5 times square root of 2 times square root of 2. So that is 5 times square root of 2 squared minus 5 times 2 10 square root of 2 squared again. Since we have two of those, we have divide by square root of 2 squared. 
that's the square root of 2 times square root of 2 then plus and minus right there so that is minus 2 times square root of 2 we have 2 again of those so that's squared plus 2 times square root of 2 squared minus 2 times 2 is 4 and square root of 2 you have 2 of those again so that's squared okay and now to square root of 2 is squared is we that way we can cancel the radical and the exponent since the radical is stands for exponent one half so in here square root of 2 multiplied by exponent 2 that is written the same way as 2 over 1 half exponent 1 half this, since that's the radical that's the radical symbol and raising it to a power of 2 so that cancels the 2 divided by 2 is 1 so we'll end up to just 2 okay so <clears throat> simplify it further so x is equal to so in here now, 5 times, cancel the exponent 2, cancel the radical, so that's times 2, minus the same way under here, so that is 10 times, times 2, okay. <clears throat> and the uh, denominator, that is cancelling the uh, exponent and the radical, now that's, so that's 2, minus 2 times, 2 again, Cancel that. Well, actually, so these are the same, so positive and negative, so this cancel, by the way. So these both cancel now. So, so we go back to, so all we have to do is just this term left. So that is minus four times exponent two canceled radical. Canceled, so that is four times two. So we'll simplify it further, five times two is 10 minus 10 times 2 is 20 divided by 2 minus 4 times 2 is 8 so that's 10 minus 20 is 10 negative divided by 2 negative 8 so that's negative 6 so divide by 2 both of them reduce the lowest term that is divide by 2 so that is 5 thirds since we're dividing by 2 top and bottom 10 by 2 is 5 6 divided by 2 is 3 and since both of them the top and bottom is uh, negative so that turns out positive so this is positive 5 thirds so we have here value of x is equal to 5 thirds so that's the answer it's value of x now if we we would like to verify our answer if it's correct all we have to do is substitute the value of, of value of x to the original equation or so we can get the decimal value in terms of fractional value and compare the value of x to that with that original equation all right so checked and before we move on to that we we can get the decimal value of uh, 5 thirds is equal to one point that is 1.666 and this is a repeating number non-stop so that's our target so I have here rewritten the original equation to check our answer x is equal is, is equal to is square root of 50 divided by square root of 2 plus 2 times square root of 2 and the value of x 5 thirds is in decimal form is 1.666 and this is the repeating number non-stop so by using our calculator we can get the values of this all right so from here is square root of 50 that is square root of 50 is 7.071 0 so we're we're doing just the three decimal places right there so three decimal places point zero seventy one divided by square root of two the square value of the square root of two is one point four one four and 
plus the value of this 2 times 2 times this so that is 2.8 times 2 that is 8 to 8 3 decimal places all of the 3 decimal places and since x is 1.66 that should be equal to 1.66 so 7.071 divided by the value of the denominator, 7.071 divided by that is, so 8 plus 4, okay. so that's 8 plus 4 is 12, 2, here 1, 2 plus 1 plus 3 is 4, and 8 8 plus 4 is 12 care 1 so that's 4 4.242 4. and if we divide that 7 the prop it will give us 1.666 the same way all right okay so that's all for today so Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. I appreciate your time. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.